Number 10. Iron Man. Tony Stark is a genius billionaire, industrialist, and philanthropist who is also the armored superhero Iron Man. He was created by writer and editor Stan Lee, developed by scripter Larry Lieber, and brought to life visually by artists Don Heck and Jack Kirby. The character made his first appearance in Tales of Suspense No. 39 in 1963. Tony Stark is portrayed as a brilliant inventor and engineer who creates a powered suit of armor to save his own life and subsequently uses the technology to fight against various threats. The character's dual identity as both a wealthy playboy and a superhero has been a key aspect of his characterization. Iron Man played a crucial role in the formation of the Avengers, a superhero team that first appeared in The Avengers No. 1 in 1963. Alongside Thor, Ant-Man, Wasp, and the Hulk, Iron Man became one of the founding members of this iconic superhero team. Over the years, Iron Man has been featured in numerous comic book series, standalone issues, and crossover events. The character's popularity has extended beyond comic books, with various adaptations in animated series, video games, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU, where Robert Downey Jr. portrayed Tony Stark slash Iron Man. The MCU significantly contributed to Iron Man's widespread recognition and popularity among a global audience. Number 9. The character of Tony Stark slash Iron Man inspired by Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes was an American business magnate, investor, aviator, engineer, film director, and philanthropist who lived from 1905 to 1976. Hughes was known for his achievements in aviation, as well as his eccentric lifestyle and later years of seclusion. When creating the character of Tony Stark, Marvel Comics writers and artists drew inspiration from Howard Hughes's larger-than-life personality, wealth, inventiveness, and playboy lifestyle. Like Howard Hughes, Tony Stark is a brilliant inventor and industrialist, and his character is characterized by his wealth, genius-level intellect, and charismatic yet sometimes troubled personality. Number 8. In the comics, Iron Man has had around 73 suits so far. Such suits include Iron Man Armor Model 1, MK1 the gold version, MK3 the classic red and gold suit with pointed faceplate, MK number for the classic look, MK5 space armor, MK6 hydro armor, MK7 stealth suit, MK8 the silver centurion armor, MK11 the war machine armor, MK13 hulkbuster armor, and many more. Number 7. In the Forbes Richest Fictional Characters, Tony Stark is number four with a net worth of $8.8 .8 billion. Number three is Richie Rich with $11.5 billion. Number two is Scrooge McDuck with $33.5 billion. And the number one spot goes to Carlisle Cullen from the Twilight books and films with a net worth of $34.1 billion. Number six. Tony Stark's origin story and the location where he first built the Iron Man suit have evolved over the years in the comics. The character's history has been adjusted and updated to fit contemporary events and conflicts. Originally, in the early Iron Man stories, Tony Stark was depicted as building the first Iron Man suit in Vietnam. However, as the real-world geopolitical landscape changed, the origin story was retconned to have Tony Stark build the suit in different locations corresponding to more recent conflicts. In the 2008 Iron Man film and subsequent cinematic adaptations, Afghanistan was chosen as the location where Tony Stark constructs the Iron Man suit, aligning with the contemporary context of the time. Number 5. Tony Stark is a brilliant and prodigious young inventor. He entered the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, at the age of 15 and graduated with a master's degree in chemical engineering by the age of 17. This academic achievement highlights Stark's exceptional intelligence and aptitude for scientific pursuits, setting the stage for his later career as a technological genius and superhero known as Iron Man. Number 4. According to the story, in 1974, Stan Lee saw a drawing of Iron Man without a nose on the helmet and questioned why it was missing. To accommodate Lee's suggestion, a nose was added to the design for a brief period. However, Lee later reconsidered, recognizing that it looked unusual, and subsequently had the nose removed. The final design without a nose is the one that has become iconic for Iron Man. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number three, Demon in a Bottle is a classic Iron Man storyline that ran from Iron Man issues 120 to number 128 in 1979. Written by David Michelini and Bob Layton, with art by John Romita Jr., 
The story deals with Tony Stark's struggle with alcoholism. In the storyline, Stark's personal life starts to unravel due to his increasing reliance on alcohol. The narrative explores the impact of his addiction on his relationships, business, and superhero activities. The title, Demon in a Bottle, metaphorically represents Stark's battle with the inner demon of alcoholism. This storyline is considered one of the most iconic and impactful Iron Man stories, addressing real-world issues and showcasing the vulnerabilities of superheroes. It remains a significant part of Iron Man's character history. Number 2. The Axis event in Marvel Comics brought about some intriguing character changes. During this storyline, many heroes and villains experienced a shift in their moral compass. In Tony Stark's case, he became the superior Iron Man after the inversion caused by the Red Onslaught psychic wave. This inversion made heroes more morally ambiguous and villains more heroic. In the Superior Iron Man series, Tony Stark, now fueled by his darker impulses, developed an app that provided people with a version of the extremist technology, making them physically perfect. However, he charged a hefty price for it, leading to some morally questionable actions. The public experienced serious withdrawals and at the same time made Stark insanely rich. Number 1. Iron Man has faced a variety of villains throughout his comic book history. Some of his main and notable adversaries include The Mandarin, a powerful and iconic villain. The Mandarin possesses ten rings with various mystical powers. Obadiah Stane, Iron Munger Stane, is a business rival of Tony Stark who becomes the Iron Munger, a powerful armored adversary. Justin Hammer Another business competitor of Stark, Hammer often provides technology and support to various villains. Whiplash, Ivan Vanko, a skilled inventor and adversary who wields electrified whips. The Crimson Dynamo, a series of armored individuals, often associated with the Soviet Union or Russia, who challenge Iron Man's technological prowess. Ultron, created by Tony Stark in the MCU, but by Hank Pym in the comics. Ultron is an artificial intelligence with a destructive agenda. The Ghost, a high-tech saboteur with the ability to become intangible, posing a challenge to Stark's technology. Titanium Man, a Soviet and later Russian adversary who wears a suit of armor similar to Iron Man's. The Controller, a villain with mind control abilities who has clashed with Iron Man on multiple occasions. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.